<laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? All right, so we're back in Flight Simulator 2020 after a brief hiatus. As you can kind of see on my screen here, this is the Antonov AN-225. It is a Ukrainian monster of an airplane. It's got six engines. It's huge. It's like the biggest cargo plane ever, ever made. Uh, it's the heaviest. It's huge, ginormous. Unfortunately, during the initial invasion of Ukraine, this thing got destroyed. And there was only one of them. Uh, they believe it can be repaired. But what's cool is Microsoft is donating 100% of the proceeds that come from selling this add-on to either repairing that plane or memorializing it in some way. So I thought that was pretty cool. Neat way to support Ukraine. Um, we're going to try and start it up and see what happens. I'm going in completely blind right now. So yeah, we might end up needing to uh, do the actual flight bit tomorrow because I don't have anything hooked up and I have a lot of things to do today. But I wanted to at least try and start it up. And we'll get the flying portion later. Don't know why you keep popping up. Damn. That's neat. Yeah, so this is all in Russian. And much like for some reason, every Russian plane, they have this hideous blue. Ah, uh, yes. What a strange alphabet. It's fascinating and confusing all the same. Um, yeah, this thing has six engines. That's a big reverse handle. Um, okay. We have TCAS. Um, one of these is probably IRS. All right, you know what? <clears throat> I see a lot going on back there. Zoop. So let's start over here. Other generators, APU gen, transformers. I'm betting if all of that is over here, or it could, could be batteries, maybe? Oh, these are batteries. Okay. All right, um, if I was an APU, well, that's a lot of breakers. It has to be over here because this is like where the flight engineer would be. Okay, I did some Googling and I think I know what we're doing now. I don't want to look the whole thing up. I kind of want to try and see if I can figure it out just based on you know general knowledge. But okay, these are the batteries. So now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna flip that switch and that switch and that RPM should climb. Hey, we have an APU. Okay, so APU is on, all right. <clears throat> Little Garmin type deal. I doubt they had this on it. Well, maybe they did, you never know. Over here. Ah! <laughs> Is that working? Ah! Engine one's at 1%. You can't see it on my screen. Okay. Yeah, so it's gonna do it all in a sequence, but. Oh, okay. So outboard to inboard. Kinda like the Concorde. This is a chungus. I mean, look at that thing. Be brave like Ukraine. I like that. All right, let's have a look. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try and take this off of the keyboard. Oh, it's so big. Yo! Well, <laughs> all right, uh, let's go to Myrtle Beach. Uh, we want VOR to VOR. All right, so this is in meters. So I think if we want like 30,000 feet, well, here, let's go to our handy dandy tablet. Uh, 9,144 meters. I'm gonna leave my GPS up while we do this, but I think I can comfortably control my heading hold. I hope. Let's uh, let's take this thing off. This is our altimeter. We're gonna do a lot of this manual, unless I can figure out the damn autopilot. God, this thing is a tank. 
All right. Ooh, that's sensitive. Gears coming up, I hope. Let's see, will this steer us towards our VOR? So we're not even close to heading or hand flying. Yeah, yeah, I know I'm going too fast. Well, uh, hey guys, uh, <laughs> come join me on a, uh, you know, hand flight to Myrtle Beach in a gigundous airplane. And boy, I hope I can land it. I should. Myrtle Beach has a long runway. And then once we turn, I'll see if I can't get the heading bug to hold. I need to come up with a way so you can see what I'm doing with the controls a little bit better. A control cam, if you will. But yeah, here we go. On our way. Look at this chungus! I wonder if I hit heading. Oh my god. I can control the heading. That's a game changer. I've figured it out. We get some time lapse. look at our VFR map we're getting pretty close uh, ultimately our heading is gonna be 180 but I want to get lined up a little bit better before we uh, do that it's uh, 180 degrees when we're a little bit better lined up with the airport so a little bit more right just to make that whole process happen quicker I want to be pretty bang on I probably fly on this heading for another minute or two, and then we're gonna turn left 180. All right, let's bring this thing to heading 180. Do this a little bit manual now. Sure, our gear is down. Let's turn on our landing lights. Come left a little bit. All right, now that we went full flaps, we're gonna want a lot more juice. I feel like this isn't bad for a manual attempt at flying this chungus. Oh, look at that. The game's even telling me I'm right on the glide slope. Not according to the Pappy lights, though. There we go. Why are you? Was that the most butter landing? Oh my god. I was on the ground. I didn't even... I didn't even like feel like a chunk or anything. Like that was... Oh. That was something special. For comparison's sake... Pretty sure that's an A320. Or a 737. They're both about the same size. All right, mates. We're here. And we're powered down. All right. Well, hey, that was, um... 
that was how you fly this gigundus beast um thanks so much for watching if you did uh hit that like button please uh leave a comment if you want um support ukraine and uh i'll catch you guys in the next one